Welcome to Spotlight Carolina. I'm Ken Ulmer. Let's play. Shane Weems is here from the Asheville Buncombe Youth Soccer Association, ABYSA. Very good to see you, Shane. Good to see you. Now, tell me why youth soccer is so popular in the Asheville area, because ABYSA serves some 5,000 kids every year. That is correct, and in ABYSA we have a saying that the soccer is a game for all kids. But we go even further to say that it's the player's game. And so when we structure our program, we put the player as a primary focus. Um, we also introduced an age group curriculum that uh, is different for ages five through 18 so that um, five-year-olds are doing something a little bit different than what a 12-year-old would do. And that gives the coach a lot of confidence to go out and create a fun environment for the players. We also realize that um, for the game to be fun, uh, what adults do determines what's fun for players. So um, we put uh, a lot of emphasis and uh, direction on helping the recreation coach create a fun and positive environment for the players um, so that when it's game time, um, you can go to a game, sit back and relax, and know that the game's not going to be driven by adults from the sideline. That it's not going to be overwhelming for the kids. Correct, exactly. <laughs> and also, um, soccer's phenomenal exercise. Um, soccer's constant movement, and so players are walking, running, standing, sprinting, all within a game, and they're making their own decisions, and so it's a perfect game for many. It is a great exercise, and that's why I play with my six-year-old daughter in our yard. But let me ask, if I have a child who shows incredible promise, Pele-like skills through ABYSA. Is there a chance through your programs to go beyond the recreational league? Absolutely, yeah, at ages eight and nine is their first opportunity and they can participate in the HFC Academy program. When players get to about 10 or 11, they can compete in our uh, HFC Classic program, which is our highest level. Um, our, just recently we've been recognized in those programs, our uh, HFC Academy program just won the North Carolina Youth Soccer Association Program of the Year, which was a big honor. And just recently three of our competitive uh, classic soccer teams won the state championship. So What I'm really interested in is how can I profit off of my daughter's skills, but we'll get to that later. Uh, let's get into spring soccer registration, what we need to know, how we do it, and some important dates. Great. Um, January 21st is the on-time registration deadline for soccer. Um, we can uh, register your player and you can pay online and, uh, and you can be placed on a team that will start at the beginning of February, or I'm sorry, at the end of February. Um, also, we do allow for late registrations right. uh, because we want to get as many children playing soccer as possible. However, we can best serve your family um, if you register before January 21st. Thank you very much, Shane, and thank you for joining us for this edition of Spotlight Carolina. I'm Count Ulmer. Make it a great day.